so I want to zoom into the snow, but I'm going to for you guys. Look right here. This is how you know it's retouched. Right here. Right there. Is this real though? Was this actually posted? Saw this on Snapchat. Apparently she posted this to Instagram, but has since deleted it. Now I know why she deleted it. You probably look at pictures on Instagram and think to yourself, hey, I wonder why I can't look like that. Well, you could if you knew how to use Photoshop. And that's just the truth. Uh, a lot of us see pictures online and we compare ourselves to them. You guys, the people in a lot of those pictures don't even look like those pictures. That's why today I wanted to break down the, uh, the photos on the Instagram versus reality subreddit and let you guys know my thoughts as a professional photographer, as a graphic designer. IG post versus video still. So there, is that really the same? I mean, that's not the same day, or is it? It could be. I don't know, the power of Photoshop is not that strong. Here's the photo that she posted on Instagram. Let's do a little zoom in. You can see the catch light in her eyes. I'm guessing there's a large light source. Now we're talking about the Jenners and Kardashians. They have the money today. They probably have a whole studio in their bathroom. Okay, I wouldn't even be surprised. Professional photographer is just waiting, waiting there next to the toilet, just sitting down waiting. Any moment arises, they need a photo. The photographer is there in the bathroom waiting for for this photo up. So what the, what the, does it sound crazy to me? No, it doesn't. In my opinion, it is retouched. Like the face is definitely retouched to me. If you see right here, the it just blends in. You can't even see the edge of this nostril. Look at this under eye area here. You see no lines under the eyes. The eye under eye is completely white, very detailed. You know, and then look over here. Even the, the edges of her lips are blurry. It, this probably was, it could have been taken on an app uh, and then she could have done just some quick retouching on her phone or this could have been taken in on a computer and professionally retouched. They have the money for both, so she could have done either. The hair is looking so perfect and that's why I think this was, even the stray hairs are edited, I believe. They just took a selection tool and then went over her hair and then clipped out any of the stray hairs. Not even the stray hairs can make it. Not allowed, not allowed. You're not even allowed to be relatable with a stray hair. Was her body retouched or modified? This is gonna be a tough one to tell. But I want you guys to look here. I see a bit of blurriness. Do you guys see that? Or is it just me being a loser all these years on my computer and not going outside? Uh, right here, we see a bit of blurriness, at, le or at least I do right here. Could she have pushed this in? Yeah, I think with something like this, by the way, notice how this is shot on a plain background. The Probably my number one telltale sign that something possibly could have been retouched. They shoot it on a, on a plain background because it's easier to photo manipulate and liquefy things be, because then you can't really tell. If this was shot on a patterned background, like imagine behind Kylie, there was a bunch of leaves or other people, it would be harder to tell if they're squishing things in or like, you know, liquefying things. There's a plain background for a reason. This is a retouched image, you guys. Don't compare yourself to this, okay? This is retouched. She has a professional makeup artist, hairstylist. She has someone setting up these lights, professional photographer, or maybe it's someone with a re the newest iPhone at this point. I don't know. Beautiful, I, I like the look. It's a cute look, she looks good, but it's edited, it's retouched. You gotta, as long as you acknowledge that, we can move on. Bruh is the title. This is of Khloe Kardashian. What is going on here? I gotta zoom in, we gotta do the zoom in. So right away, I notice here, you see this? Liquefied a little, pushed out. So they could have been, maybe they thought, hey, we're doing a little too much and then just decided to push it out for some reason, I don't know. Is this real though? Was this actually posted? Or did someone edit this and then... Surely she wouldn't have posted this, right? Did she? No. Saw this on Snapchat. Apparently she posted this to Instagram but has since deleted it. Now I know why she deleted it. Oh my God. So she did post this. Another thing, her hands completely blurred out, retouched. You see no veins. You see nothing, no details in the hands. Hands were definitely even retouched. And look at this. Look at this. Who sees this area right here? It literally folds in like this. It, it bends completely. It's warped. 
This, oh my god now I'm, the more i look at this the more i'm seeing even more stuff look look right here you see this little bend right here this was like pushed in most likely and then maybe pushed out she was trying to liquefy this area probably the neck is is not looking right zooming into chloe's face here very much retouched to me all blurred you see no details no grain when there's no grain in the face no texture that's an indication to me that it was retouched but this neck area look right here you see how this like goes all the way up and then this is elongated that doesn't look right and i'm not even I, I don't know anything about anatomy really i'm not a medical professional by any means okay even i can tell something's not right here the organs are not in their right spot. And I've only played Operation a few times. Do we see, th that's the light source right there. It looks like this LED light. Let me show you which one it is. Let me show you. This light right here, look at This is the one that they use. It's the newer, well, I, I think so. People were posting on TikTok, oh, this is the light that they use. It's a great light. This one hurts because I love Gwen Stefani. She, I don't know what's going on here. The star has said in the past that her skincare routine is simple, consistent, and disciplined. Okay, but yeah, you're using a retouched photo of her in this. I do a facial massage to decrease any puffiness. Or you'll just liquefy it in Photoshop. I love Gwen Stefani too, by the way. But you, this is very misleading to the general public. It's very simple retouching, but it, it is retouched. Zooming in even further, you can see some patchiness right here. Look at this patch right here. It definitely looks blurred out. Like the smile line is blurred out. Over here is a bit, just a little bit blurry. If had this been a, like an unedited photo, you would be able to see lines. You'd be able to see more texture. This white of her eye versus the inside of her eye doesn't even match. Why? Because to me, this is edited right here. You see how dark this this line is in her eyeball right here? That's because somebody probably went in and like brightened up her eyeball. Same over here. Eyeball looks brightened up. And you can see the catch light in her eyes. Again, it just looks like a small light. Could have been a flash. No under eye circles, nothing. It, if it looks too clean and too perfect, that's because Photoshop was there and left early. She also attributes hydration and sun protection to helping her youthful complexion. Okay, and you, what about Photoshop? You're not gonna mention photo, you're not gonna even credit, no mention. She's like, this is, this is all SPF's work. This is the work of SPF only. I don't think SPF and moisturizer is gonna retouch the skin and uh, do gauge and blur at 86%. Now this photo, so the door is not supposed to be like this. <laughs> I mean, it looks weird, but I was just thinking, why would she edit this area all the way over here? Okay, so this area right here looks suspicious. We ha it's a little bumpy right here, like these areas. And then also you can see it's smudged in. This area looks fuzzy to me. It looks like it was touched up see how there's that fuzziness right there sometimes when you're retouching and you're smudging things you're trying to manipulate it like liquefy then that ha that tends to happen you get a little bit of that fuzziness and then over here with her arm i'm not sure what's happening this area right here also another thing i noticed is right here looks to be touched up looks very soft in these situations, I mean, they're, they're shooting her with flash, so you would see sharper lines at least, in my opinion. Like, look at how sharp this line is over here versus up here, this area. See, it doesn't match. Because there are lines behind her, it's gonna be harder for her to edit these without making it look like it was edited. Her face is completely retouched. This line completely gone. This is completely just blurred in, smoothed out over here. And then this other smile line completely gone. Nothing under the eyes. Nothing, nothing there. And the whites, notice how the whites of the eyes are very white and bright. That's because I just, I think it's edited. So this one, left is real, right is Instagram. See what I told you guys about these, the eyes? See how they white, they whiten up the white, they brighten up the whites of the eyes. If the eyes are too popping, that's how you know. No one's eyes pop out that much, unless they're Shrek. A lot of people are gonna think, okay, the left image is the unedited one. No, that one's still retouched though. It's all blurry, completely blurry here. Blurry, look at over here, blurred. You see these, like this little patchiness here? That's like the leftover real texture that they just blurred out. That's the, that's the texture that made it. Someone went in and blurred out this image. 
And then I guess they're saying she posted this one to her Instagram. Both are retouched. That's that's the truth. That's my truth. Next one. Do you think this one was retouched or not? I'll give you a second. Personally, this looks retouched to me. Okay. Let me tell you why. It's looking just a little too perfect. Up here, you can see the blurriness. Over here, these little hairs. The eyes. Hmm, this one's a tough one. They did a good job with the eyes, I will say. I think they were popped out just, just a little. Just a little. They were a little bit more subtle about it. She's gorgeous. She's stunning. But this was retouched to me. Blurred over here. I mean, oh wow, this little piece of hair made it. I'm very happy for it. If that was the Kardashians, that would have been gone. Goodbye. Someone said, seriously, what is with the door? She's a billionaire. <laughs> what is with the door? Wait, let's check this out. Let's investigate here. Oh my God. What? Kylie. Have you to, why? Why are we doing this? We get the photos going to be edited, but why are you, what's, why are you editing this door? Is the door not good enough for you? <laughs> was the door not aesthetic enough? I don't know who was editing this, but they had a personal vendetta against, uh, you know, this metal, metal rod. What is this? What is this? A Delta Sky Club? A gas station? What? <laughs> I don't know where this is. Do I want to zoom into this? No, but I'm going to for you guys. Let's zoom in here. Unwillingly. <laughs> you know, this one is made to look like, oh, it's just a paparazzi photo. It's not, it couldn't be edited. No, it, but look at her cheek though. Do you guys notice repeating patterns here right now with the texture? Look at right here. It just looks like they copied and pasted the same texture. And then we got that little uh, bit of blurriness right here. What did I tell you guys about the eyes? Po those popping eyes, the popping white eyeballs. It's a thing, you guys. I swear it's a thing. Look right here. This is how you know it's retouched. Right here. Right there. You're telling me through her dark hair, her the, the whites of her eyes are still going to show through? No. I don't believe that. They definitely they definitely pop those eyeballs out. The whites of the eyeballs are working overtime. Um, and then this area, it just looks like whoever edited this needs an award. I mean, this photo is a bit of a mess, to be honest with you. Could this area have been retouched? Look, I I'm, I don't get paid enough to, to, to do a deep dive there. I mean, her hair is looking shiny. I like her lipstick color. Her bag is cute. But I, I'm... I honestly, I have, I feel for the door. That's all I'm thinking about for this photo right here, the door. What was there that needed to be retouched out so bad? They were willing to make it look like a terrible Photoshop job. Like they don't care who knows it. They would rather it look like this than show whatever was there. Could it be an elf? Could it be a, a, a baby goblin? I'm not, I don't know. Well, the world will never know. And I'm sad about that. What did I, t what did we, what did we go over you guys? What did we go over about the eyes? The whites of the eyes, brighter than the sun. <laughs> that's a, that's a big thing right now. But the whites of the eyes, they always gotta brighten up the whites of the eyes. Her face is complete, like completely cleaned up here, smoothed out over here. No under eye area. Her smile line completely gone over here. Okay. And again, we're looking at the whites of the eyes. Big giveaway to me. Rest of the picture is focused, sharp, but again, this area, smooth, blurry. There's, you zoom in, you don't see any sort of detail, grain, nothing. So next time you see a shiny eyeball, you know where it's from. And that's all I can ask for. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.